In this video, we're going to be talking all about the home buying process, demystifying some things, helping you position yourself to be a strong buyer so that that seller will choose you over other buyers out there in the market making offers, and hopefully get you a little more comfortable with the whole entire process. So let's get after it right now. <coughs> Hi, if you are new to this channel and you want to learn all there is to know about eating, sleeping, entertainment, things to do, where to live across the metropolitan area, then subscribe to this channel and click that bell so that you can be the first to learn about what I post. Hi, my name is Anita Cordell and I get text messages and emails and phone calls all the time from people just like you who are looking to buy or sell and are needing help with the transition. I have been selling real estate for about 20 years here in the Kansas City metropolitan area and I love helping people make their transitions and I would love to help you as well. Whether it is nine days or 90 days, just give me a call, shoot me a text, Send me that email, however you want to give me, get a hold of me, just do it and I'll be more than happy to help you. So in this video, I'm going to be walking you through the home buying process. We're going to go through all the steps and give you just more of a high level view so that you know exactly what goes on and that you can be more confident in your home buying purchase and just be a lot more prepared so that you can be the person that wins the bid. There are several different ways that people buy. One is cash, the other is a loan. If you are in a position to pay cash for a home, you will need to have what's called proof of funds, which shows that seller that you have the ability to purchase the property with cash. Let's talk about the pre-approval process. You have several different types of credit scores. They can vary in their scores. The lender will use the FICO score. You, when you are checking your credit score on Equifax or Experian, what you can see is the Vantage score. And that is a little different than the FICO scores. If you're trying to improve your credit, you can always talk to the lender about how to improve your credit score so that they can better serve you in getting a loan. The reason why you wanna go ahead and start getting getting pre-approved now is to position you to be able to purchase that home. I get calls a lot with people who are not yet pre-approved that see a house online and want to go and look at that house, but we have no idea whether or not they can buy the house. And it can break my heart and it can break their heart if they go into a house that they absolutely love and they cannot purchase it because they are not yet pre-approved and some other buyer comes along beside them writing the offer that is pre-approved and gets the house. So your very first step really is to get pre-approved. Now, if you do not have a lender, I have some preferred lenders that I have vetted already. I know how they communicate, handle their business, how they, um, they work throughout the transaction. Once you get pre-approved, you will get what's called a pre-approval letter. Then you and I would have a consultation and we'll talk about the agency. You'll need to sign a contract and state that yes, I am declaring Anita Cordell as my real estate agent. We talk about the areas that you wanna live in and we go through some of the priorities of what you would like to see in a home. I'll pull up MLS, I'll show you what is in there. Another, and with an out of town buyer, we can always do a Zoom call or a FaceTime call and go over all of this with you as well. Now I will say this, that no matter where you're at, whether it's in Kansas City or beyond, I have a strong network of real estate agents in my portfolio. I can call them up, I can get a hold of them. So if you are watching this video and you need an agent, I will find you an agent in your area who will help you along the way and get you going. So the next step is we get to go shopping. And so we hop in our cars and we go and we look at those favorite houses that you've selected and walk through them and start taking notes on things that you like about them, things that you love about them, and things that you do not like about the properties. So you can open up the pantry, open up closets. All of that is available to you because you're buying a property and you wanna see what you're purchasing. That is next, you write the offer then I would submit that offer to the listing agent. In certain markets, it may feel like you are competing with five different people and you are on the racetrack to finish out and you want to win that bid. 
This is where your real estate agent is really important because they can help and guide you into making that decision and as far as how to position yourself in that offer and how to make you be that winning bid. So make sure that you continually communicate with your agent, get the advice, look at the comps in the neighborhood. In the process of writing the offer, you are going to have the opportunity to look at a seller's disclosure. The seller's disclosure is exactly that. It's where the seller fills out a document and in that document, they will disclose as much as they possibly can regarding the property. The fun part continues, so say you have won the bid. The next step is the inspection. Here in Kansas City, you have 10 days upon the contract to do all the different inspections that you wanna do. Most of the people here in Kansas City will do a whole house inspection as well as a termite. Some people will also add a radon inspection, other people will do a sewer inspection, it just varies and it's a very personal decision, but usually I recommend at least doing a whole house inspection and a termite inspection. After the inspection report is received and you've gone through it, you have three choices. One is you can offer to renegotiate. You can take things off of the inspection report that you want fixed. You can change the price. You can negotiate in any way which I would help you determine some avenues and, and ways that you can negotiate. You can accept the property as is or you can cancel on the deal and get your earnest money back. All right, so say you have negotiated some things on the inspection report and you're moving full steam ahead towards the closing and you are on to the next phase keep in mind i am still doing things on the back end and i'm talking to the title company making sure that there's no liens on the property talking to your lender to making sure that they have all the documentations that they need which is the next step that's securing your financing say we're just about two weeks out the lender is going to order the appraisal now the appraisal is different than the inspection. This is where a little, sometimes buyers get a little confused, but the appraisal is something that is ordered from the lender and they will hire out a third party person to then uh, send over the appraiser. The appraiser will take a look at the house, making sure that the comps are in line with the purchase price and they will make an appraisal report. They will determine basically whether or not the purchase price lines up with the comps and all of the uh, property's assets to make sure that you are not paying too much for the property. After the appraiser gives their report to the lender, then the lender will make sure that there is nothing that needs to be repaired, especially if you are doing an FHA loan or a VA loan or a USDA loan. Those appraisal reports may have some things in the appraisal report that will uh, state that there might be a few things that need to be repaired before the loan actually can get processed. If that is the case, then be sure and talk to myself or whoever your real estate agent is to make sure that those things get repaired by the seller. During this time frame, you as a buyer are gonna have to make sure that you are also securing insurance. So you need to get an insurance policy set in place. One of my favorite phone calls from a lender is when they call me and say, your buyer is clear to close. That is cool. Okay, so the next step is closing. This is where you will go to a title company and sign all of the lender documents to actually purchase the home. Now, some markets you would go to a, an attorney's office. Here in Kansas City, typically it's a title company. Then it's move time. It is so exciting to see buyers who are getting in their new home, making it their own, and creating memories that are long-term there at their property. I hope that you enjoyed this video on the high level view of how to purchase a home and the steps involved in it. Here in the Kansas City market, understand that our laws and, ch and ways that we do things might be completely different than the way that another state does it. So always use a real estate agent in your market. My contact information is below. If you wanna text me, email me, call me anytime, and I'd love to talk real estate with you. Here at Anita Home Team, we are here to serve you, to help you along the way and answer any questions. And as always, remember, to buy or sell, call Anita Cordell, hashtag Anita Home.